Uh, this is from Matt Mobley uh, right. from Facebook. He wants to know, in the movie Gravity, why did George Clooney have to let go? Now, you're going to have to fill me in on yeah. this because I didn't see the movie, so I don't know. You want to cover but, your ears? Yeah, or you wanna... and, and I'm, I'm, I'm a big boy. I'll, yeah. you know, I'm going to see it anyway. But now he goes on to say, the Russian shuttle, mm-hmm. Sandra Bullock and George Clooney mm-hmm. were going at the same velocity. Right. Same velocity. Right. No force was required. For him to hold on, yeah. I don't. I, I don't know what's going no, I, on here. I don't understand the okay, question. Okay, so what ha- what's happening is is that there comes a point where they're they're he's pulling her along, and I would have done it a little bit differently. I would have had her closer to me so I could always keep an eye on her and look in her eyes, make sure she was okay, and not create this two body problem. That was one thing, but they were kind of on the end of a leash, and for some reason he you know, he decided that they couldn't survive. And that he was going to sacrifice himself. Am I giving away the movie? Yes. Oh but, my god! <laughs> but I had the same idea. I would not I, for two reasons. Number one is you don't want to necessarily, uh, you know, commit suicide in space unless you really have to. And I right. think what what I would have done is I would have come try to get closer to her so I would not have to jettison myself. Right. Okay. So one thing is is that you don't want to commit suicide. The other thing to think about is he was the more experienced guy in that movie. Okay. Her survival, her odds of survival are much greater if he's if around. he's around. You got two, me and you together, Chuck? Right. We can get through the streets of Manhattan a lot better than alone. This right? is true. You know what I'm saying? Or this anywhere. We go out in the woods, you, you and know I why? can help each other. That it just go works, ahead, man. It works the opposite in the streets of Manhattan. Is that right? I'm walking with a white guy, I'm offering you up first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but there's a greater <laughs> chance of you surviving than... It, well, let's no. go to the woods. There's nobody else around. Mm-hmm. Okay, I am a we dead a, man. We have a better. Ch- okay, so I can help you. But this is the point. You can help me in New York. Maybe right. I can help you somewhere else. Exactly. That makes sense. You know, so, it's kind of like you put the mask on your baby first. That's right. I mean, on yourself first, yeah. and then yeah, on your know, child. Right. So the idea is that two people together are better than one alone. And plus, the experienced guy, her her chances of surviving would have been better with him around. And that would have gone through my mind as well. Is that. I can help her. her. She's better chance she's going to be around if I can stay. Right. So I don't know why they did that. You got to have to ask the movie guy. So basically, the, uh, the it's the um, Leo DiCaprio uh, and uh, what's her face on yeah. the floating board right. at the end of Titanic. Yes, I let go. Whatever. Yeah, but I, love I think you he so was much. gone already. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't look so good. Right. Yeah, at the end, <laughs> uh, from what I remember. But uh, yeah, that's uh, maybe it was kind of like that in this movie too. But I, I think you know you would you'd want to stay in it to the bitter end and uh, and try to try to g- do it together because your better chances are, are that way. Well, there you go, and that's from an experienced person who's actually been into outer space. Right. But I've never actually been faced with that decision for real. <laughs> But I think I would go down swinging if I was. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, buddy. There's your answer. There's your answer. Lift off.